Now let us see question number 24. Isomers of hexane based on their branching can be divided into three distinct classes as shown in the figure. The correct order of their boiling point is. Now if we compare the boiling point of isomers of alkanes, straight chain alkanes have the highest boiling point because of strong intermolecular force of attraction. As branching increases, the molecule tries to have a spherical shape. So, boiling point decreases because of weaker intermolecular force of attraction. The area of contact decreases. So, the correct answer will be option B because in the third class we have the straight chain alkane. In the second class there is only one branch. In the first class there are two branches. So, correct answer is option B. We now move on to the next question that is question number 25. Here we are with question number 25 that reads the acidic hydrolysis of ether X shown below is fastest when four options are given one phenyl group is replaced by methyl group one phenyl group is replaced by paramethoxy phenyl group two phenyl groups are replaced by two paramethoxy phenyl groups and the last option is no structural change is made to X. Now let us see how the reaction proceeds. In presence of acid H plus attacks at the oxygen atom of X. The alcohol leaves the place forming a carbocation to which three benzene rings are attached. And then water molecule attacks at the carbocation forming the product. Now if two of the phenyl groups are replaced by paramethoxy phenyl groups, the carbocation will be more stable. The energy of activation will be reduced, rate of reaction will be fastest. So, in this reaction, when X is treated with H plus, triphenyl methyl carbocation is formed as an intermediate. By substituting two of the phenyl groups with the paramethoxy phenyl groups, the carbocation will be more stable. So, rate of reaction will be fastest. So, correct option is option C. We now move on to the next question that is question number 26. The question 26 of the paper says the major product in the following reaction is this is the reactant it is treated with methyl magnesium bromide in presence of dry ether at 0 degree celsius followed by its reaction with aqueous acid four options are given now how the reaction proceeds When the given reactant is treated with methyl magnesium bromide, the methyl part of Grignard reagent attacks at the carbonyl carbon, pi electrons move to oxygen. The 
this is followed by intramolecular nucleophilic substitution the o minus attacks at the carbon containing halogen halide and goes out the product formed of the reaction is this option d is correct we now move on to the next question that is question number 27 yeah question number 27 of the paper says hydrogen peroxide in its reaction with KiO4 and hydroxylamine respectively is acting as the four options are given hydrogen peroxide reduces potassium periiodate and oxidizes hydroxyl amine therefore in the reaction of hydrogen peroxide with potassium periiodate and hydroxyl amine it is functioning as a reducing agent in the first case and oxidizing agent in the second case the correct answer is option a we now move on to the next question that is question number 